Hey, this is Bartender Vince. We are going to unbox the Sharka Bluetooth key wireless keyboard for a uh, iPad uh, models 2, 3, and 4. box is pretty standard. Um, gives you the info. Standard info. Um, back gives you some details about its features and its um, unique keys as well as a breakdown of some of its other features of physical 360 rotation, protective case, um, usable for iPad 2, 3, and 4, but not the Air, but uh, it just might be. Thin body design says 25 millimeters, however, there is a thinner version, I believe, that uh, you can have to uh, check out for yourself on Amazon.com. So if we go ahead and start taking this apart... We get the box out of the way. Inside is the first cover. This one says it's a protective case for iPad Air, and that's not the one I'm going to use, so we're going to move that out of the way, but it's nice to know they give you an extra one, as well as the user's guide. And they have the main unit right here. I'll take that guy out. And nice black textured feel, a little bit of a rubberized feel. You open it up, flexible uh, rotating components here. There's the arm that you get it out of the way, stand it up in place like so. Keyboards, nice sized buttons, I like them. And set that off to the side. It's got a little thank you card, which is kind of cool. In here we have our power supplies. Let's see if we can't get that out. Voila. Oh, just a cable. USB cable to a micro USB. Give it the charger. And we'll get this box out of the way. So next we'll go ahead and place the iPad inside the case here and it's got a real nice textured feel to it which I like. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy and give that a snap, give that a snap, give that a snap. Okay, that should be in place. Voila, it didn't fall out. Sweet. Okay, so you can pivot it there and it does rotate so you can rotate it out like that. Put it in place. So let's go ahead and pair this guy up. Let's turn that on. Okay, we've got some lights. Let's put the settings. We'll go to Bluetooth, turn Bluetooth on. Let's see if it searches and finds. We gotta pair it. Shark keyboard popped up. Enter the code 2223 on the short keyboard, followed by the return or enter key. So we'll go 2223, enter. And it says connected. Sweet. So let's just make sure it actually works. So let's get out of this into Notepad. And we'll do, there it goes, typing away. Nice. Make sure that's there. And backspace. So neat. So that easy pairing and it functions pretty well. Okay, so we know that works. Hit the home button, it takes us home. So neat. So let's take this and rotate it back. So it's pretty cool little keyboard wireless. It's not backlit, so you won't be able to see it at night. However, the cool feature I like about this guy is this little tab here. It's actually a release for the stand function. You can wiggle that guy out. And you can actually separate it. 
and it becomes a stamp. Position it to wherever you want. Forward. What I've done in the past is actually turn it around and rotate it like that to be a display. Um, a lot of good friction in this little guy. So it takes quite a bit of force to actually get that to move and it works great. Now the other thing I really like about this guy is pinch these together and it actually separates. So now you can take it with you without the keyboard or a stand and it's just on its own which is pretty nice. Turn that off. You can easily just reconnect it by matching it up, squeezing it in. Take this guy and we'll slide it back in, back here. Voila. Now, this does have sleep mode function, so when you close it, it does put it to sleep for you with the magnets in place. So, pretty cool little functional device. I really love the texture. It's got all the cutouts for charge port. It's got the camera holes, microphone holes, so does a pretty cool little job as well as the micro USB to recharge the actual keyboard itself. Pretty cool little device.